Let's go over there, it's my little brother's brother. My idiot brother. Ain't that right, brother? I'm sorry, Jack. Oh, it's not your fault. Mama used to drink something rough. We all remember the time she fell down the stairs drunk and pregnant. On top of you. You ain't never been right since, have you, boy? No. But we, uh, we were named after the drinks. Yeah, we were both named after the drinks, but I maintain that we had different fathers. No. You say so. Um, what? Why are we here? Well, we're here to sing songs to songs of salvation to this fine congregation of fine and fair student folk. But they have their um their Britney and their hip hop on their hip hop. Stop that! No, that music ain't got no soul, ain't got no message, ain't got no spirit, ain't got nothing. Sorry. We're here to communicate, educate, and re-educate. I like the Manson family. Shut up, bud. <laughs> now, this first song is called Stand Up Y'all. And it's, uh, it's a song designed to encourage young folks like you out of uh, lethargy, apathy, and, uh, well, unsympathy. Like, now, uh, I'll do my harmonica and show them feel it, right? Where are you going? We you use that to be. You said to be there. No, I didn't. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> Let's go over this again. I'll do my harmonica intro, and then you beat in, right? Don't leave me without a beat. Whatever happened to the marches and the grunts? When did they get replaced with you selfish, self-centered, surly grunts? <laughs> when did the working man lose all of his rage and start acting like the peasant of a distant bygone age? Wake up, y'all. Wake up, y'all. Can't get nothing done in spite of trying. 
can't even maintain an erection. But, <laughs> practice your chewing. <laughs> now, this next song has got a misogical message to it, and a misogical moral, in fact. It uh, was going to be big back home, but it got banned on account of an old lady got offended by its referencing of a bear. So this is Alice and the bear that lived in her vagina. Ready? Alice and the bear that... Oh, stop chewing, boy! Alice and the bear that lived in her vagina. Let's go. Where are you going now? Come back, sit down. we got to begin. Let's begin, you lady. Now. Alice and the bear that lived in her vagina. Don't worry, this doesn't count as an encore. Right? <laughs> there was a girl called Alice who lived in a crystal palace who had a life of pleasure and of well. Yeah, well. She felt a certain rumbling like the room was a crumbling and decided to have a little bit for herself. Well, she climbed in her vagina and closed the door behind her and inside there she found a great bear. Great bear. With a pair of hot milk and songs made out of funny and too soft and covered in thick black curly hair. Well, she showed up to the preacher and said, Boy, I'm glad to meet you. What are you doing in my twat? <laughs> I can't accommodate no creature of your size. Oh, size. You've been in here since late. You're taking no stinking wet. And your spells are bringing tears to my eyes. <laughs> well, the bear stood up and snarled to attach him like a child. So he wasn't gonna go without a fight. Without a fight. He put in his sharpest teeth and claws all out of sheep so that he could do the job quick and right. Well, hour after hour, the bear tried to devour her. But Alice was made of stronger stuff. No. Feet swipe, she duck and dare. She checked out like a crab. To sum it up, fold out, it's like they're rough. Lyra! Well, soon it came to crunch time, and looking like a wig crown. It was fair to say the fight was pretty clear. Pretty clear! The bear could hardly breathe. He lost all of his teeth, and she carried off his hands to the mirror. Well, the song is just a metaphor for the rear names, etc. And with little crabs, the made in private hair. Real hair! If you're in such a jam, so carrying like a lamb. Confront it and go bare knuckle with a bear. <laughs> Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Yeah! 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 Yeah!